G'day everyone, it is the captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals, and all of your mates. As the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. You see, this video actually took place on my birthday last year. There you go, the 14th of October. If you ever wanted to know what my birthday is, jot that in your calendars. Anyway, police have been caught to a house where a silly Billy stupid face called Ashley is throwing things out of a second story window like she's P. Diddy getting rid of evidence. So, of course, the police have arrived to find out why Ash Ken Ashley is being a bit of a shit sprinkler and things go the same way as trying to shit out a set of sports socks. Painful and not fucking well. Let's have a look. Back to this. Um... I have to grab my other phone. Uh, phone sh scattered all over the place. I haven't been in the house yet. I come back to all this on the lawn. You know she's here? No, I haven't entered the building yet. Okay. I was waiting on you, gentlemen. Well, this guy said something about it. You hear her yelling or something. No, she was not yelling. Okay. Are you coming back to just get stuff, or are you coming back for the night? I It started raining, and I, knowing that it was raining, I knew it was going to get cold. So I was bringing the kids back. That way they could get some are they get in the somewhere truck? warm. They're sitting in the truck okay. right now. Oh, maybe she's passed out now. Is this your other phone? Is this your other phone? So it appears that Camo Calvin over here has had some kind of sexual encounter with an alien from the Gutter Slag galaxy and they moved in together and had a few crotch goblins that he has now stashed in his truck while he deals with this sassy Sasquatch and her love for spill and trash out the window like she's fucking Ozzy Osbourne taking out the bins. The cops seem to be pretty familiar with this double story meth den and the syphilis infused cephalopoids that dwell within it. Let's see what happens when they find old Debbie does Jack Daniel bottles. So yeah, so if it was me, I'd seek an eviction and a separation divorce. I can't tell you how to live your life. Um, residing here, she's allowed to she's allowed to break all the bottles and throw them outside. It's stupid. But I'd contact SMHA and I'd have her. Let me get the intel on him. Mm -hmm. Not illegal, yes? We've already said that. Okay, now. Bye bye. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I, I won't take, I, I won't make take a step. Here and take this. Not illegal, Not right? I'm within my rights. Where are your plans for the rest of the night? Yeah, okay. Well, my plan was. Within your rights for what? Within my rights? Within my rights. For me and the kids to be able to pass out the front of the Okay. Okay. Now, bye-bye. So I'm to not leaving right now. Truck. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not against my rights. Ah. Uh, so, okay. step off. Bye-bye. What in the actual fuck are you on about? In your rights? Oh, fucking hell. Look, I know that you've had enough to drink to make Keith Richards fucking proud, and for some reason you've decided to have a one-person conga line party while throwing shit on your lawn like your hepatitis home is a sinking ship. Fucking hell, what is going on with you, lady? There, look, sadly, and I don't understand why, you're in your legal right to do what you've done, but you're not within your legal rights as a mother to carry on like Charlie Sheen on payday. Look, I've fucked some 
some strange creatures in my life, but never have I been that horny that I've stuck it into a human-sized Petri dish before. I honestly feel sorry for the husband at this point, but I'm guessing that she didn't turn into a fucking Cerberus Cheryl overnight. So, how about this? Bye. Bye. Get fucked, you orc. I don't have to leave. Oh, you... you We're here talking to your, your husband. You don't you. have to leave. I do not. Okay. I don't either. Correct. Okay. What is that? Have a good night. You as well. Have a wonderful, you awesome, as well. legal night. Make sure you drink some water so you don't get oh, hung oh, over. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure you drink some water. Yep. Take some Tiki Tylenol or ibuprofen. Officer, right there. I'm going to leave. <sighs> if you wanted to put that stuff back in the house, you could. It's obviously put it right back out. And this is between him and the SMHA, not these officers. This is between him and SMHA, not these officers. So, thank you very much. You have a great day. Take care. You too. As you told me, take care. Drink water. Yep. It'll help with dehydration Drink in the morning. Drink water and, and have a good night. That's what you told me. So drink water and have a good night. Why the fuck are you still standing there? No one gives 10 shits about you recording the police. Unless, unfucking less, you are recording that cop because of his great mustache. I mean, if that's the case, I fucking get it. That is like a Doc Holiday level of great mustache. He should honestly be a fucking firefighter with that type of stash. He would make lieutenant based off that vag vacuum alone. Look at it! Have a fucking look at it! I'm surprised that he's not doing patrols on a penny farthing. What a fucking mustache that is! This hornless Honda needs to quit while the going is good and get back to her one girl, one cup rock concert before this fucking mustache of greatness throat punches her back in time. Also, fix that bra strap, you fugly trash panda. What's your name, ma'am? Uh, no, no. Officer name, badge number? Officer Rosen, 235. Officer... Shackle, 210. Now... I have not committed a crime. Mm. Well, I you have. I have to identify. You're, you're being disorderly. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm you are. I'm outside my own house. Outside is the operative word there. Right there. And get get internet famous. Because I know my rights. Do you have a lot of followers? I am not without my rights. Okay. So, no, I don't have to identify to you. You At all. Did. Yeah, you did. Video. Well, I'm just telling you, if we come back out, you're just going to get arrested for disorderly okay. house. Uh, and when you woke me up outside my house? Inside my house? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, and the okay. gentlemen were here because I called them okay. back out here because of what I came back home to. And so please, I brought them out here because of you destroying the property... That I put in this house for the children. Nope, fucking hell, eh? Someone found their balls in the truck, didn't they? No offense, Blake, but this is like, you know, shitting in a litter tray and then getting upset that your cat's annoyed at you. Right, yeah, the fucking time's passed for all this. <laughs> Get internet famous, because I know my rights. Oh, you talkative Cock silo, if you only knew that these words would come back and hit you in the face like masturbating into a fan. Oddly enough, you can get arrested either inside or outside of your home. And speaking of which, your home is a damn near abandoned crack house, so it wouldn't be fucking running your lips too quickly. 
Keep telling the cops that you know your rights while you're actively showing that you don't. Yeah, fucking they love that stuff. Prove it. Prove that well, you it wasn't... paid for it. Prove that you paid for it. I can't prove that I paid for it because I don't have so, receipts. Okay, so, we're not going to No not receipts, gonna yell. no proof. Goodbye. Bye. I'm not causing any more disorderly conduct. Okay, and they're not in your they house anymore. So why don't you take your fucking house back in the fucking house so I can continue my fucking conversation. I have him threatening me. Go ahead. I didn't threaten you. I asked you to take back in the fucking house. I don't have to. We live there amicably. Together. Married. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bye. You will not violate my civil rights. I'm just trying to. Mm. We're not trying to violate your rights. Then go away. Well, you have no... You're talking... <laughs> Huh? Okay, talk to him. Oh, back up. Great. There you go. Talk to him. Now, violate my civil rights. I find it fucking impossible for anyone to violate anything that you have to offer, you neighborhood trick. Honestly, the amount of bad sandwiches that the husbands had to fucking eat in their marriage, it's finally tipped him over the edge. He's like, if I have to have one more deviled egg, I'll fucking snap. I'll just fucking snap. And then she goes ahead and makes him another deviled egg sandwich on white bread. And he's like, fuck this. I am out of here and I'm taking the fucking kids. Honestly, take his advice, lady. Get your fucking ass back in the fucking house before officer, it's a me, a Mario proves that he is completely out of fucks to give. He even did a tour, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he went on the fuck factory tour. He watched how all the fucks were cleaned and packaged before hitting licensed fuck dealers, and he had in his hopes. He was hoping true well that they might have had some fucks in the gift shop, but sadly, none of the fucks were ready, and there were no fucks to give. Either that, or get the fuck out of here. <sighs> You can have all you want. And you were out here before. Yeah. Me and you already had it out. We already had it what? I don't care if you are f***ing here for whatever. Prove that I'm out of my civil rights. Prove, prove. prove that you're out of your prove. civil rights? Uh, that doesn't make prove. much sense. Prove that I don't have the right to say what I want. First Amendment. Right? Prove the right that you have legal search and seizure, Fourth Amendment. Right? Ah. Ah. Where did you get your law degree? I don't have to have a law degree. I only have to oh, know my asking. civil rights. I don't have to have a law degree to know my civil rights. Civil, meaning everyone. Go ahead. Go ahead and what? Go ahead. Violate them. Violate any of them. I have a right to video record you. You absolutely do. I have a right to Fourth Amendment illegal search and seizure. Go ahead in my house. Please enter my house with illegal search and seizure. No warrant. No? No? Uh, are you asking no? me a question? No? Fifth Amendment. Fifth Amendment. I don't have to answer any of your f***ing questions. I'm not asking you any questions. Good. Again, I have to ask the question. What in the actual fuck are you on about? What is going on? What search and seizure has the cop done? And look, honestly, not to correct your second grade understanding of law, but you've pretty much invited them in to search your crack rock of a homestead. Right, you've given them legal 
permission. Not that they'll take you up on that offer. They don't want to catch koala-level chlamydia or nothing. And what's this fucking Fifth Amendment? You haven't shut that cum cauldron since the cops arrived. Actually, speaking about fun at home, I just need to bring this up. Amy Adams. She invited me over to play Superman at her house the other day. Oh, fucking, I was so excited. Put on my costume, went over there, hoping to play Superman in Lois Lane. But when I turned up in my costume, she was just naked. It was a trick. It was a fucking trick, ladies and gentlemen, to get my love rod into her front garden of secrets. Fortunately, I'm a fucking gentleman. So I fucked her. Okay. You have a pretty profile. Thank you. I appreciate it. You really do. Thank you. Well, like, mustache and everything. You like the mustache? Oh. Uh, yes so adorable. or no? Appreciate it. Okay. It took a lot of work. Hmm. Does your wife like it too? Oh, yeah. Good for her. Like that. Nice look. But you won't come against me, and I don't care. I don't care drinking, not drinking, civil, not civil. My rights are my rights. You won't ever violate them. Okay, well, I'm just telling you now that if we come back out here, you're going to be arrested for disorderly house. Uh, you can't, you can't arrest me for disorderly conduct unless I'm not out in public. Well, right now you're no, out in public. No, 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 But no, I didn't no, say no. disorderly let me, conduct. Let me, let me clarify that right now. I didn't now. say disorderly conduct. I said disorderly house. Disorderly house? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Is there no firefighters in this town? It sounds like there isn't because all of the good mustaches have joined the police force. And judging how this wild boar's flat gates opened up enough to flood the fucking Nile, they all seem to have the best mustaches in all of Sam Elliottville. Mustache rides for everyone, I say. And has this charged disorderly house. I love it. It's not often that you get to see this law. It pretty much means that your house poses a threat to public health or safety or morals. Or, you know, it might be a public nuisance. It's a place where unlawful practices keep happening. I fucking love it. What a charge. Here's another charge for you don't see very often. It's got aggravated littering. This is a real charge in Australia, and I fucking love it. It pretty much means, here's the scenario, right? Some dude got a whole bunch of dirt from one property, had nowhere to put it, so he dumped it on his neighbor's property. And of course, the neighbor's like, fucking, I don't want this dirt here. And he was charged with aggravated littering. Fucking good charge. Jeez, I love these type of laws. No, because I was up in there sleeping. And now I you're out here sleeping. sticking a camera in my now, face. Now, they and are out rude. here in my property that we pay for and they're out here telling me that i'm going to get arrested for disorderly house house yes oh no when i am being very candid not cussing at them not violating them not this that you 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 pig very now I'm nice. piggy, piggy, Very piggy. Nice. piggy, 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 I don't care. You can't get me for fucking disorderly house when I, I'm in my own house and I came out here to talk to you. Now, you want to come out here and disorderly house me? I won't fucking answer the door. Good for you, pig. Nice. Good for you, pig. We're done? good. Okay, go back inside then. No, I don't have to. Hey, look. Hey, public property. Public property. Public. Yeah, and it's public. One thirty in the morning. Public. I'm not underage. I'm not underage. You're about to go in cuffs for disorderly conduct. Go ahead. No fucking mustache ride for you then. 
<laughs> You've blown your chance. Everyone gets one and you fucking blew it. That's it. No more mustache rides for you on the officer, on your fucking husband, uh, any of your crotch goblins. No one. That's it. You're banned for life. No mustache rides in this town. You're going to have to go to a whole different town to ride some fucking mustaches. And no doubt you'll find some dirty fuck with a goatee. And that's not even a real mustache. That's a fucking goatee. There's no fucking way that a goatee can be the same as a mustache. It just doesn't fucking work. So no mustache rides for you. You fucking blew it. <laughs> oh, what's this? You're going to fucking disorderly house me, she says. When I'm outside of my house. Well, now we can just get you for disorderly conduct because you correctly pointed out that you're on public property now. Fucking hell, what is what is going on? How do you have enough room in your head for this amount of dumb cunt thoughts? It's got me fucked. Pig, pig, piggy, pig. Turn your camera around, sweetheart. You've got the forward-facing one on. It is one for you. Did you know when she got her first job out of high school, it was at Hot Topic? And when she started there, everything was good. But then all of a sudden, the fucking shop got hit with a false advertising lawsuit, causing the shop to have to change its name. So now it's actually referred to as Set on Fire and Put Out with a Fucking Chainsaw Topic. Get me. Get me for... Get me for it. Listen, right now you're out, Give me for you're it. out in public right now, creating a disturbance. Give me, hey, hey, public, is there anybody out here? No, no, public, am I creating a public disturbance? No, there are no neighbors out here, there's no public out here, outside. there's no one out here, I'm not creating a public disturbance. No, look, public, is there any public? Public, 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 public. No, there's just your kids, me and these officers. There's your husband. No. There's us. Look. There's people in there with us. Is there anybody? I am video recording. Okay. Anybody out here? Is there any public? Is it? Is there any public? Wait a minute. Let me slow down so I can catch these windows. So you do need no, to. No, there's no public discussion. Smart move, fuckface. <laughs> hey, did everyone notice that uh, Officer Magic Carpet Rides has put on his gloves? His mind is made up. One more comment from drunk, dirty Diana, and he will be on her like fat kid on cake. Oh, it's gonna go down. What did she think was gonna happen? The cops were just gonna submit like her unwilling, cockled husband of hers. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Miss Muffin Top. That's not how mustache men act. Right? With great mustache, there must also come great responsibility. So, you're sweet out of luck. And no, it's not because your tits look like they were run over by a steamroller, but it's because you're a bit of a dipshit. But we know where this is headed. We all know where this is headed. Let's all hold hands once more and cross over to our favourite game of Fuck Around and find out. In your language, because that is... I have... I have got First Amendment rights. I have First Amendment rights, mother. I have First Amendment rights. Bring your arm back here, please. Thank you. I got this. I got you. First Amendment rights. First. First Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Okay. Well, tonight. Freedom of speech. Hey Ashley, you remember when the Massillon police did this to me? After I slapped. Retaliation. Retaliation from the man. Massillon police. <laughs> I'm not sure you're allowed to call the cops a fucking cunt or whatever she spat it out of her blowhole and then try and claim the First Amendment when you're being arrested for disorderly conduct. I'm pretty sure that's not how it fucking works. Oh, uh, and, and, and this is retaliation for, for fucking what? The fact that some other cops dropped your sperm supplier a few weeks ago and now these cops are arresting you in retaliation? How the fuck does that work out? Wait, were they at the station going, Oh, I can't believe those bloody Maslin boys arrested some fucking cock wobbler in our turf. Yeah, well, we should show them. Let's go and arrest his dick oven. Yeah, that will fucking show them not to mess with our junkies. What the fuck are you on about? 
Go f yourself. I got you. First Amendment right. Freedom of speech. I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. Public. We're going to stand you up now. Bring your knees up here to your chest, please. Okay. Come on. Sit on your butt. Roll over. Bring this up here. I really don't want to have to carry you. Right. Step inside there, please. Yeah. Yep. Put your feet in. <laughs> Jeepers, she is grunting more than my old college girlfriend. <laughs> like I went to fucking college. <laughs> These poor cops are gonna go and have to see the fucking police physio after loading this sack of cue balls into their squad car. Rigging around like an octopus with Tourette syndrome. What the fuck is going on, man? You're going to throw a hip out. Take a deep breath. Oh, the cops honestly would have an easier time fucking a Gatling gun than loading this thing into their car. Oh, wet mark on my face. Yeah. She spit on you? No, she quit. The attorney, she keeps talking about is a personal injury attorney, not a criminal attorney. Oh. We're gonna go that way. You can get him the f away from me. I'll follow you, but get him the f away okay. from me. What'd he do? I'm following. Get no, I gotta hold you. I don't want you to fall on your face and... Uh, I'm not falling on my face! Do not pull away from me. You're gonna get more charges. Go. Okay. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> Enjoy your three-day stay at the Behind Bars Hotel and Dumbfuck Centre. She was done for disorderly and not shown in this video. She was actually slipping out of one of her cuffs, so they charged her with uh, bloody escape, but that charge was downgraded to criminal mischief. But she was found guilty on both of them, so there you go. I hope she had fun having more fingers go through her than a public phone book. But anyway, have fun while you're there. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Take your fucking panties off, because you're not going to fucking need them. Oh, well that brings us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you click that like button, that subscribe button. And hey, while you're down there, why not join our members as well? You can see their names scrolling across the screen. Your name could be on there too. All you need to do is join as a channel member. How fucking good is that? Because when you've done that, then you can run down the street, right? You can take your shirt off. You can get naked if you want and, and fucking just piss bolt down the street, find the local zen garden run in there and say listen up fuckers that's not how you find true zen and you fucking show them this video they're gonna enjoy it they're gonna have a laugh they're gonna find fucking nirvana or whatever it is that they are looking for in a zen garden they're gonna be so fucking happy with you that they'll take their shirts off and get naked and there might be a zen garden orgy that you get to be part of and who knows you might just get some money but 
I've got to get going. I've got to catch up with fucking Terry. Oh, fuck it. Let me tell you about Terry. I was talking to him the other day, and he looked all concerned. He was, like, really fucking stressed out. I'm like, what's wrong, Terry? What's going on, mate? He goes, oh, I just don't fucking like the fact that there is double standards in this world, Captain. I said, well, fucking tell us the story. What's going on, Terry? You're so fucking distressed, mate. There's got to be something bothering you. He goes, oh, you know what it's fucking like. You know, double standards. Because, you know, if a girl sleeps with 10 guys, she's a fucking slut, right? I'm like, well, yeah, that's what people say. I don't agree with it, but that's what people say. And he goes, yeah, but, you know, if a guy fucking sleeps with 10, he's gay. Fucking hell, Terry. All right, here we go.